Are they, are they taking a nap? They're taking a nap. This changes everything. Hello YouTube. I am Pinstar and this is Two Point Campus Strategy and Tactics. Quick tip. So today we are going to revisit the medical and pastoral rooms properly. Finally, they have patched the game. As of 1.5, the game has been patched to uh, alter the behavior of your students who are waiting for medical or pastoral care. They'll actually take care of their needs. So in that point, it actually becomes viable to run those rooms. Console players, patches 1.5 is not out on consoles just yet. So my old advice is, still holds true until the, they roll it up, but I know they're working on it. Let me give you some proper tips for how to build your medical, your pastoral room, and also how to take advantage of this new behavior. Let's start with the medical room. So medical office, minimum size three by three, and that's all we really need. We can put it back right here. I'm gonna put the door over here to the left. Now for the Omni Cure, your gut instincts usually just stick it against one of the walls, but nah, that's not what that's not what you want. You want to actually nuzzle it up as close as you can get to the door as possible without obviously causing collision errors and whatnot. So something like that. This will reduce the amount of distance that your students have to travel upon entering the room to get into the machine. Our table, very difficult to nestle it in here, but if you find a space and point it this way, that way you'll get into that. For some boosters, there is one booster, medicine cabinet, the old, the same model that you find in Two Point Hospital, plus one medical power, but again, remember the rule of threes. You don't want to spam this like crazy. All you really need is three of them to get the last little bits of benefit out of it. And that's about it. Everything else is purely optional and decorative. Get yourself a temperature fixer if needed. Get yourself some posters to up the prestige a little bit. Probably can get the room comfortably to a three without going too crazy with it. But that is a medical office. Don't forget also that the Omnicure, the machine, can be upgraded. And that's for a 15% and then 30% medical power upon each of those upgrades. So do, do make it a point to to upgrade this as it will speed up the medical side of things quite easily. Now for the sister room, for the pastoral room, once again, minimum three by three, once again, minimum three by three. We're gonna put the door on this side though. And for the seats here, same philosophy. We want them as close to the door as possible like that. Now this room, because there is no machine to upgrade, the some of the items allow you to boost pastoral care rates a little bit more aggressively, although they are a bit more expensive. So if you're just starting out, you can skip these or maybe backfill these in later. But again, abiding by the rule of threes, the pastoral bookcase here, one goes over here, one goes over here, one goes over here. And then these pastoral cabinets can be dotted along the wall like so. And then once again, flesh out the room, temperature fixers, decorations, but this is the functional support. This will give you the maximum bonuses without succumbing to diminishing returns too aggressively. Let's take this to its logical conclusion. I'm gonna say that whenever you build a medical room, you wanna build a pastoral room. Yes, there may be some campuses that lean a little bit more heavily into one or the other, but general rule of thumbing it, you generally want to make this, make, make have them come in pairs. When you build one, you build another. But let's, let's complete this. Let's make this a whole build. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run and grab our old faithful, the Lou by four, because Remember, your students, while they're waiting for care, can take care of their needs now. But that's only useful if there are needs nearby worth taking care of. So if they have to use the bathroom, let's give them a bathroom. Stock standard, Lou by four, no alterations needed for this. We're good to go. Now, let's think about hygiene. We could do a shampoo by four, the sister building to that, but I find that students don't need hygiene as often compared to how often they need a bathroom. And also in the effort to make this whole build a symmetrical footprint, I'm going to actually do a slight alteration to it where it is a just a two by two. Put our door over here, and then here we can fit in two showers. 
and then temperature fixer, blah, blah, blah. And now we have, we have the ability to, to, for our students to get fully hygienated as well as taking of their bathroom needs. But now let's look at the rest of them. Full, a full allotment of vending machines, all four of these. That means two drinks and two snacks. As far as where I put them, I like them over here against these against these things that way we spread them out a little bit with the burp and the we also want to put them in pair food drink food drink and the reason why we're going for one of each is in case your students have personal preferences the you will always have the type of machine that they like if they are looking for something like that and then one more just to help out friendships a little bit we'll grab ourselves a water cooler stick it over here so that takes care of food and drink now for entertainment i found that because uh, and you want to you want to put this length of a hallway in here these three a three space long hallway that will help your students foot traffic flow nicely but i found that the crazy tax machine especially if we stick it right here in the middle can be problematic for that so i like to stick one rotated against the back wall here at the back that way people have access to it they can play it but that also gives you the opportunity to lay down a meat wizard machine and there's a few other bits of entertainment you can you can get going as well not nearly as powerful but the telephone is another form of indoor entertainment and some people will have preferences for it so you can put one of each and the students will find whatever it is, whatever unit they want for it. Now, as far as decorations goes, you can put posters up here, 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 and here. The only places you can't do it is on the doors or things that are strictly attached to the walls. So decorate this hallway as you see fit. And then we can't forget ourselves a bin because we're dealing with all these snack machines. The bin actually is probably the hardest thing to fit. You put it in the wake of the telephone right here students will be able to go around it and still access it and you'll have a bin for at least for the students who are couth enough to utilize it you may be saying well pinstar you're forgetting one need the need you opened up your video with the nap why not grab one of your dormitories the perfect 10 dorm and stick it at the other end of the hallway obviously this one would have to be an open hallway to the rest of your campus and stick it right here it fits so perfectly well here's the thing like it, early on absolutely but later on when once you get to a size where you're you have multiple dormitories things become problematic because you you're also probably going to have multiple pastoral and medical rooms and there's no guarantee that the person going to this pastoral room or this medical room happens to sleep at this dormitory their dormitory might be somewhere else now is there any harm in putting a dormitory near here in the off chance that that you get lucky and they happen to sleep here and they happen to need to sleep sure absolutely go for it there's absolutely no harm in doing that I, i'd say that was that would be a good thing but don't count on it when once your campus gets larger because the chances of any given student being in a specific dorm next to the rooms that they're attending are slimmer and slimmer. So how do we get them rest in this little setup here if we can't rely on the dorms entirely? The nap club. Oh, but not, not here, not indoors. Remember, clubs go outside. But if you get your student body trained up in the nap club, chances are while they're waiting for their turn, they will nod off. This is actually a behavior that actually would persist, It'd be kind of your only saving grace pre 1.5 patch. But now it gives them an extra option to satisfy sleep if that happens to be their burning need while they're waiting their turn. And because it is not so destructive for, the, for your students to wait in line in a queue, you don't need to go absolutely bonkers with spamming these to try and keep up with it so that nobody has a queue. It's okay to have a little bit of a queue. My suggestion would be if you start hitting like four, five student long queues, then build another one of these. But always make sure they're near stuff to take care of their business so that they can be happy while they're getting their treatment. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya!
Thank you.